Hello, and welcome back to the Switch List. My name is Rick, and today in What's on the Bench, we're going to be adding uh, an exterior light to this structure. Um, this is a background flat building that I built um, from an uh, ITLA or ITLA kit. Very nice building, but what I need to do is I want to add an exterior light on this, and then this platform goes right here like this. So I'm going to have a light there. So what I'm going to use is this, uh, if you can see it, here maybe this way. This is a single bend gooseneck light for HO scale. Let me get it out here. It uses an LED and some very small wires. So, this is how the light. So, we're going to install that right over the door there. But it's got an extremely small wire attached to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there are actually two very tiny wires attached to the LED. And here. So the first thing we have to do, we have to, this is a 3 volt max LED and I'm going to drive it with 12 volts and I provided uh, a resistor here to use. So the first thing we have to do is we have to drill the hole, thread the wires and the stem for the light through. So according to the package it says use a number 72 or number 73 drill. So I'm going to go ahead and use a number 72. I'm just going to eyeball where the middle is and then go ahead and drill this. There we go. Let's flip it over. On the back side of here, I had just taped in a piece of black foam board um, to block, uh, to hide the, the blue background that's this is sitting up against. So let's just take that off. Got a hole there. I'm going to clean it up from this side as well. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to get these wires threaded through that. So I'm going to turn the camera off while I figure that out. And once I've got it, uh, it threaded through there, we'll come back. Okay, we're back. And I've got it in. And um, It wasn't as difficult as I thought to get. It might be to get it in. I just twisted, ended up twisting the small copper wires together really tightly at the end and threading them through the hole. And then the eagle-eyed among you may see that I actually had to move the light because the original hole that I drilled right there didn't allow for the how the lamp goosenecks down and it would have interfered with the door you know not that the door actually opens but people would have noticed that so now what I need to do is I need to just put a drop of CA both on the pipe going through the wall there's a small I don't know if you can see at the base they've got a I don't know what that's called but a cover to cover up the hole and then I need to glue the actual shade in place. So let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay we got the the fixture mounted and glued in. A couple drops of super glue uh, shade to the pipe, the cover to the pipe and then on the back the pipe in the wall. So now what we need to do is turn our attention to the electrical. So fortunately this little back plate that I made for this I put in floors because I was thinking about maybe trying to put some pictures you know print some pictures out put them in here that would be visible through the window and add some other lighting which I may still do but the good thing is, is this is, has these floors quote unquote and I can by setting this in there well maybe I gotta go this way allow me to work on the back side of this without pushing down on the, the neck so what I'm gonna do and to put this in is obviously we need to have we need to add the LED now according to the directions that came with this I think it says 
Uh, the wire is, we use is coated with an insulation called solder on. You don't need to strip the wire. So you, theoretically I will be able to just wrap one end and they've got one end is shorter than the other. The short end um, is the negative or cathode side. So let me untwist these. I'm going to go ahead and put the resistor in on the longer side. So what I'm going to do, since I have plenty more wire, plenty of wire, is I'm actually going to take and I am going to wrap the wire from the light around the resistor leg many times. Trying to keep it reasonably tight. And then what I'll do is once I solder this, I don't. Let me see if you. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but let me try. If I bring this up, maybe you, maybe you can see the twists on there. So I don't have a soldering iron here at this workbench, so I'm going to take this over to the other workbench. I'm going to solder it up. We'll put some heat shrink on it, and then we will come back and we'll test it just to make sure the LED is working before we, we progress. Okay, so over on the other bench, I went ahead. I connected the soldered the resistor on. Uh, I did go ahead and hook it up to a power supply and check that the, the LED comes on, all is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing. This may not be necessary because I'm also going to uh, tape down. You can see that I bent, I don't know if you can tell, but I've bent over the, the post that's sticking through because it was just a little bit too long to actually still be able then to allow that foam board backing piece that I have that this is resting on at the moment to sit down flush. So I bent that over making sure that the angle in front stayed correct. The light didn't get tilted off or on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down and then ultimately I will secure the resistor down as well so it's not flopping around. Take that. So now that we make sure we don't, even if this was the flop around, we don't have any pressure on the light itself. So, okay, so now the next thing, the way I'm going to connect this up and make it connect to the DC electrical system on the layout is these wires are extremely small and difficult uh, to work with and get them connect. Um, underneath even if you want to go to a terminal strip or you're going to try and use a suitcase connector I mean, so these are way too small so what I've decided to do is I'm going to use but basically these are some little square posts and then this is the square receptacle and those can plug in and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to mount the receptacle to the resistor and the wire here and that will get mounted somehow on the building permanently glued down and then this side I will take and I will use some 24 gauge wire um, which is, is still not huge but it's much uh, much better these connected onto here and these are what will then ultimately run down through the the the, the, the layouts uh, bench work and in, into the electrical system the electrical bus running underneath and I'm also going to do is I'm going to I'm going to connect this such that it's keyed so First thing we need to do, let me just go ahead and jump right in, is we're going to use three, not two, we're going to use three of these. Okay, so I snip off, and so now I use three. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my red wire, so you can hear, the red wire to the first one here, the black wire to the second one, and the third one will be left alone such that if, if you imagine the connector on the same side so the connector has the red wire here the black wire on the second one if I was to accidentally flip that over what I end up having is I have the ground connected to the ground pin but nothing corrected connected to the positive so there's no way to as long as you you know don't do something like this which is possible um, you end up making sure you don't accidentally uh, apply reverse polarity. Not that it's a big deal because the LED won't burn out, but just some just a little peace of mind. I will uh, go off to the other bench, do all that, and be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. I got all the wiring done. Let me zoom in here a little bit for you. 
Okay, so if you can see here, I went ahead and I glued down the female connector here, and I've got the wires uh, soldered to it. Have to make sure those stay out of the way of the window. I don't want them to see. And then I went ahead and I drilled a hole here, ran these wires uh, through. These are the wires that will ultimately go down through the the table of the benchwork DC bus. So all I need to do here is plug in like that. Okay. And again, I'll have to make sure I. I was originally going to put the hole over here which is why this female connector is glued facing this in you know this direction um, in hindsight now that I decide I would put it more in the center the hole I should have had that facing the other way oh well we'll make it work um, okay we've got the power supply connected we'll turn on the switch and ta-da we have light and if you can see does a nice job lighting that up so, at a normal viewing angle, I think that's going to turn out really nice. Uh, so let's see if we have the... Oh yeah, you can, you can see how much light it's throwing onto the platform. So the only thing left to do now is to uh, button it up on the back, take it over to the layout, drop the wires through. There's a hole already existing in the benchwork ready for the wires. Drop them down, we'll connect them to the DC bus. Uh, turn it on and we'll take a look at uh, what the final result is. Okay so this is with the normal room lights on and even then you can uh, clearly see that it's lit up so I think it came out looking pretty good uh, pretty simple installation and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, please uh, if you did please consider subscribing give me a like. Alright that'll wrap it up for this video guys so take care everybody be safe and I will see you down the rails.